Roll. You got a gift, my friend. Nothing makes me happier than to see young people getting involved in the creative arts. This is a prime example, Ted Detridge. He submitted this logo for a brand called Childish. And from a glance, it looks like it's super tight and pro, and it is. But when we take a deeper dive, when we take a look at this, we can see some inconsistencies in the letter form. I'm going to show you what to do if you do something like this. Ted, don't screw that up. What do we think of this logo? I think it's childish. <laughs> <laughs> the tops of the L's. Yeah. It just feels like it's not done. And same with the H, the loop on the H. There's a flat spot right here. So it needs to be more curved like this. Mm -hmm. I believe that's the same H, so it's got the same problem, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a curve on the top, he's got a curve on the bottom. So are you not a fan of the curves? The Maybe top. it's the sharpness of those curves because they come to a point and everything else is so rounded. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. There's some inconsistent weight issues and I think the way the C is coming across here where it's almost closing in on this thing, yeah. you might want to pay attention to that, Ted. I think if you just pulled it back a little bit, maybe bringing this part out. What's the problem now, guys? Could you tell? It doesn't actually follow the lines all the way through. This has a little bit more of a fun quality to it, so the lines aren't perfectly straight. Yeah. They're a little wavy. A little and as long as you do it consistently, you're fine. Here's what I noticed right away, though. These are all curved bottoms, right? Mm-hmm. So why is this one a little short? You might have noticed that the S feels a little out of place. That's the one letter that stands out because it's a little narrow. Mm -hmm. and there's some issues with the weight. Like, see how it's really thick here and mm -hmm. not as thick down here? So that's a problem right there. If this were the bottom of the H, then this has to go below that. So we need to fix the S, the C, the curvature of the H, the tops of the L's. Which letter should I work on first, ladies? H? All right. So I think this just needs to be turned towards this line here. There's a reason why those guides are there. As I draw these things, I learned that if you keep them parallel to that, that it should start to look a little bit more consistent with the angles of everything else. How's that feel? Better. So you notice the difference between this one and this one, you guys? Yes. We also have to look at the angle in which the pen was held, the original brush pen. And I think, again, it's at an angle like this. So that's why this part should be the thickest. It should get thick and then it should get thin at the bottom. Oh. It's getting thick at the wrong spot here. What you could not articulate in words is really what your eye, your heart's feeling. Hmm. And luckily I'm a whisperer of letter forms I can understand. <laughs> it's like, I don't deal with designers with type problems. I deal with type that has designer problems. Oh. Okay, so what we have here is we have a nice curve, so I'm just gonna steal it. So it curves up and it goes to a point, but the point rounds over, right? So I'm going to just borrow that. Now we can compare that L. Beautiful. Does this feel a little bit better, yeah, guys? So much better. So you know how that so little kink better. right there. All right, now we have to fix the S. Give me a little room, dude. You're crowding me. I, H, get out of my way. You see how wide the D is relative to the S? So I copied this line and that line and moved it over here to kind of approximate how wide the D is compared to the S. Well, first, we need to fix a couple of things. Look at that. This is so inconsistent, guys. These bottoms should all meet up mm. at the same point. What's the point of having a guide if they don't? You know what that is? Decoration? No, I think it's childish. I wanna get into the right spot, sort of, before I go and fix everything. Okay, if Molly says it's good, it's good for me. You might need another point here, Ted. And how do I know where the points need to be? Do you guys know? No. Okay, thanks. If you draw an O, and if you highlight all the anchor points on it, you see that there's one here at the bottom, yeah. one here on the side, one at the top. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So there should be one here at the bottom. There's none here on the side. There oh. should be one at the top. Ah. See? I so see. now you know you need to add an anchor point right there. It looks a little... It looks really thick.
Does it feel too wide now? Or is it okay? All yeah, right. a, a little bit. It seems... A little bit wide. Maybe a hair yeah. wide. So I'm going to just cheat right now. I'm going to use the scale tool. I'm going to click right here. And I'm just going to squash in from the side. Just a hair. Squish. That's it. Anyways, we're going to bring this back. Now we need to fix this part. Indubitably. There, it's done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, I believe, could use a ribbon underneath. You know what I'm talking about, ladies? Yes. Hey, ladies! Yeah. Let's draw one. And it wouldn't be sharp like this. This would be kind of a wave like these are. So we're going to echo that same element. So it's got a little S curve, mm -hmm. and then we'll round that corner off later. Okay. So it needs some work on the on the C, but Ted, I hope you liked he did. what we did. Commenting. He's commenting? Yeah. All right. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with the changes and suggestions that I made. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next episode. No, I if you want a deeper dive into logos, check out our course called Logo Design and Construction. And if you want your work critiqued by us, make sure you follow us on the Facebook page and submit when we call for your entries. See you guys next time. I'm out of here.